welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited that you are here and I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you when this video finally reaches you. Today's video is absolutely terrifying and fascinating to me because this was a DM that I was recently sent from one of my Reese's Pieces claiming that after what they had done, after watching one of my videos, something absolutely terrifying happened with their haunted, well, with their doll that became a haunted doll. Now, first and foremost, I wanna start off by saying, I've gotten DMs and comments many times over the years asking if by watching my videos, if you're subject to getting haunted or cursed or possessed or any of the above. And my immediate answer is no. I mean, anytime you subject yourself to anything beyond our realm, you obviously have to be careful, protect your energy, keep your spirits and your overall energy high, your vibration high, um, but you're not inherently going to have any sort of issues from watching my videos or any other content creators videos that dabble in this types of thing or this type of thing. Oh my goodness, can I speak today? <laughs> um, but ultimately I do wanna say that what this girl did, what Monica <laughs> did after watching my video is absolutely chilling. And she has given me full permission to share it with you guys today as a cautionary tale and a warning. So without further ado, sit back, relax, maybe turn a light on because this is about to get dark. <laughs> off her message to me saying that she's been a viewer of mine for years that she's absolutely loved my content which by the way to each and every one of you who watch my videos and enjoy my content I can't even put into words how eternally grateful I am but that's beyond the point <laughs> but Monica said that she's been watching me for years and has enjoyed the spooky content but recently Monica ended up watching one of my videos to do with a haunted porcelain doll. Now she did not specify which particular video of mine she watched, but she did say that she'd watched all of my haunted doll videos prior to this instance and that she's enjoyed them. So she was watching one of my haunted doll videos and things took a turn for the worst afterwards. Now Monica went on to say that she's had a specific porcelain doll ever since she was a little girl. She claims that she was not somebody who ever really particularly enjoyed dolls. She was never the little girl that loved dolls. I was, but she wasn't. And she just wasn't somebody who had a ton of dolls in her vicinity. But as she was watching said video of mine, she began to feel a little bit strange from the doll that was within her room. Now, as I mentioned, she had had this porcelain doll since she was a little girl, and it was odd for her to feel any type of way towards it. In fact, in the beginning, Monica started to say that she felt as though she was maybe having these feelings as like a hopeful thrill, that she enjoyed being scared so much. Watching my video, she was like, oh, I have a doll too, that's kind of freaky. But as the video continued, things started to get stranger and stranger. She said that nearing the end of my haunted doll video, she turned to her sister who was watching the video with her as well and said, how cool would it be to have a haunted doll like that? I would pay to see that in my lifetime. It was at this point, around 30 seconds later as she described, that her laptop completely shut off and would not turn on for an hour and she had this really strange feeling continuing from her porcelain doll that she'd had since she was a little girl. Now she did note 
that she had never felt weird with this doll or about this doll at any point prior in her entire life. But after this moment of saying how crazy it would be and how much she wanted it, she started having those feelings. So Monica said that a couple of hours went on and finally her computer turned back on and her night continued on as per usual. She said that when she went to go to sleep that night, she once again was found looking at said porcelain doll, which again was weird for her because she'd had that doll in her room her entire life and had never felt any type of way about it. That night, she had horrific dreams. She dreamt of her doll on top of her, choking her, scratching her, saying all of these horrible things to her. She felt incredibly uncomfortable. But when she awoke, she once again thought that it was like all inside of her head. When she went to breakfast, she realized that her sister wasn't at breakfast. It was just her mom, her dad, and her. And the three of them ate breakfast. She went off to do what she had to do for the day and later when she reconnected with her sister, she learned that her sister had had horrible dreams all night long as well. As she headed home from what she had to do that day, when she returned to her bedroom, her doll was no longer where it was supposed to be, but was in an entirely different part of her bedroom, which made zero sense. She said she went to her mom, her dad, and her sister, begging them to tell the truth about where or why the doll had been moved, and none of them knew anything of it. She claimed that in the weeks following, she wouldn't sleep, she would have horrible nightmares, and this doll would continuously relocate itself. Like, it, it would just randomly move from, like, one spot to another, and nobody in the house, like, knew how or why it was moving from said location to another. It was almost as if it was truly a haunted doll. Now the reason that she wrote in was because she wanted to give fellow Reese's Pieces and people in general a warning to be careful what you wish for. That was something she repeated multiple times in what she had written me was be careful what you wish for because you actually might get it. She claimed that her entire life she'd been a thrill chaser, a thrill seeker, but that she believes that day when she had looked at said haunted doll, which once again, she never told me which video it was, and had said that she wishes that could be her experience, things have never been the same. Now, she even said herself, she does not blame it on my video whatsoever. She doesn't think my video had anything to do with it. But she does believe that through watching my video and getting excited about haunted dolls and watching other creators' videos on haunted dolls as well, it gave her this like sense of excitement to hopefully have one of her own. But she flat out wrote me in her last message, it was not worth it. And I always say this, like in, in so many of my videos, this may come off as contradictory because at the end of the day, I do seek what I seek out but I'm very adamant on protecting myself, setting my intentions, cleansing myself, X, Y, Z. Like you guys don't see all of that. And if you wanna see that in an upcoming video, definitely let me know. But you guys don't see all of the protection that goes into before, after, and during these videos. Like not particularly these sit down videos, but my investigations and whatnot. Um, there's a lot that goes into keeping my energy high, keeping my vibration high and keeping myself safe. But she had said that it wasn't specifically my video. It was just the fact that she had this like hunger and excitement for something dark. And she never thought that she would achieve it. Those were her words, achieve it. And when she ended up getting what she asked for, it has been a living hell ever since. She claims that she has to have somebody come in to cleanse her home and her doll at least once to twice a month and that she doesn't even like look forward to going to sleep at night because of the dreams that she has or the things that she sees. As I mentioned, none of this is due to watching my video but more so due to her setting her intention of wanting it. But either way, I thought that it would be an interesting thing to talk about. As I said, I have her full permission 
because at the end of the day, I think so many people when it comes to the paranormal or the unknown, um, they want to just experience it for themselves, but they don't realize how truly real it is. And once they do, at that point, sometimes it's too late. So I would definitely love to know what you guys think of this experience. What type of entity or what do you think came into the doll? I would definitely love to know in the comment section below. And that is it for today's story time. Once again, I just want to remind you guys that I am uploading every single day this month, 31 days of Halloween, 31 days straight. So if you enjoyed the spooky content, definitely make sure to click that subscribe button and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness. And until tomorrow, I love you.